All new tonight at 5, suspended Hillsborough State Attorney Andrew Warren and his legal team have rested their case against Governor Ron DeSantis. That happened just about 15 minutes ago in Tallahassee. During day two, DeSantis' public safety czar Larry Keefe wrapped up his testimony. Keefe was largely behind the effort to remove Warren from office. The court also heard from Taryn Fenske, DeSantis' communications director. Fenske testified DeSantis did not want to sensationalize the coverage of Warren's suspension. The governor's legal team will make their case tomorrow. Warren is obviously fighting to get his job back after the governor replaced him, suspending him and putting in a new sta office. state attorney last August. Yeah, to do that, Warren's legal team is also laying out a timeline that suggests a concerted effort to remove him from his elected office. So as 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser reports here, the trial is exposing the lengths the governor and his staff went to to carry out what Warren calls a political plot. Well, testimony and exhibits show that as far back as December of last year, Governor Ron DeSantis had discussed the idea of investigating Florida's state attorneys and whether any of them were failing to enforce laws. DeSantis' public safety czar Larry Keefe says he took it upon himself to explore that issue, setting the wheels in motion. Or prosecutors to ignore the law. In January, during his State of the State address, DeSantis fired a clear warning shot. In the legislative session that followed, his office promoted a bill targeting blanket policies against prosecution as a legal reason for suspension. That bill failed. There aren't Republican and Democratic victims. By April, Keefe had asked a mutual acquaintance to reach out to Hillsborough Sheriff Chad Cronister. In his deposition, Cronister says Keefe later asked that they use an encrypted text messaging app called Signal so, quote, nobody would see what we're talking about. The governor's suspension of state attorney Warren is not political to me. Cronister says on a phone call, Keefe told him he was tasked by the governor to review all the state attorneys. But on Tuesday, Keefe testified it was more selective than that. It was not a systematic, methodical investigation, he admitted under questioning. Still, Cronister says Keefe asked about difficulty getting cases prosecuted in Hillsborough. I indicated that we did, said Cronister, indicated that we had already started compiling a list of cases, and I had directed staff to start keeping track of these cases that weren't being prosecuted. Depositions suggest even those cases weren't enough to convince DeSantis that Warren was ignoring any particular law. But when Roe v. Wade was overturned in June, Warren signed on to a joint statement vowing to refrain from prosecuting those who seek, provide, or support abortions. Six days later, citing Florida's new 15-week abortion law, Keefe answered this email from a DeSantis lawyer with the words, ready to engage. Effective immediately. Five weeks after that, DeSantis suspends Warren with a declaration that court documents show was hand-edited by DeSantis himself. Days later in this email, DeSantis' director of strategic initiatives attempts to calculate the total free earned media coverage generated by suspending Warren. $2.4 million over the course of two weeks, bolstering Warren's contention this was always about politics. I was blindsided by a plot to illegally throw me out of office. An allegation now being hashed out in federal court. In Tampa, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay. And again, the trial expected to wrap up as soon as tomorrow. Legal experts say if Warren wins his case, he'll ask the judge to allow him to return to his office while the governor's lawyers appeal.